Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, hello, uh, is gonna be about bread because hello, who doesn't love bread? And if you hear any noise, it's because, once again, a small child, I should real foot, there it is, is laying on the bed next to me and playing with a ball. So, any rattling, that's her ball. Moving on. Uh, today's video is gonna be about bread. Uh, last weekend, I found this really, really simple recipe for just plain white bread, round loaf, you don't need a loaf pan, nothing fancy. Exactly. It's only a couple of ingredients, which is great. Uh, might even be stuff that you have in the house. Maybe you just have to go buy yeast. You can make this bread tonight. But who doesn't love bread? I love bread. We typically don't have bread in the house now. We did before I was pregnant, I ate a lot of sandwiches. But now we don't have a lot of bread in the house. So I figured I'd give it a go and I made it last weekend and it was wonderful. And I made it again this weekend and we're eating it for dinner. And I'm just really excited about it. There's only a couple of ingredients. So if you wanna find out how to make this super simple round loaf white bread, then keep on watching. All right, people, let's make some bread. First, you're gonna need some flour some rapid rise yeast, some olive oil, salt, and some water. Super easy, only a couple ingredients. So first you're going to take a large bowl, ignore the fact that mine has a weird stain on it, I have no idea what that's from, but to that bowl you're going to add four cups of flour, two teaspoons of salt, and the whole pack of yeast. After all those things are in the bowl, you just want to whisk it all together, make sure everything is nice and incorporated, and that that yeast and salt is really evenly distributed throughout all of the flour. After it's all mixed together, you want to take the mixture and make a little well in the middle, and into that well you are going to put three tablespoons of olive oil and one and a quarter cup of water. Then just mix it all together and voila! That is everything mixed together in that bowl. Now you can see that there's some flour that hasn't been incorporated, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more water, add it to the mixture, and mix it together. And you see that it came together a lot nicer. Um, if you have to add more water, only add a little bit at a time. You don't want the dough to get too sticky. Remember, you can always add more water, but you can't really take it away. So after you've mixed all your ingredients, you're going to need to knead the dough. <laughs> need to knead. I'm just using this little plastic cutting board because my counter wasn't super clean. But you're just going to dust your surface with flour. That way your dough doesn't stick to the surface. And here we go. Let's knead that dough. Um, you just want to knead it until you can form a smooth round ball. See right now it's a little bit sticky. Um, so yeah, just knead it until the dough comes together nicely and you have a smooth round ball. It shouldn't take very long to knead. I think I only kneaded it for about five minutes until it was done. And there is your finished kneaded dough ball. See how it looks a lot more smooth than when we started? So after your dough is kneaded, you're gonna take uh, a bowl. This bowl just happens to have a lid, which is why I'm using it. And you're going to add a little bit of oil to the bowl, not a whole lot, just so the dough doesn't stick. Then you are just going to add your dough ball to the bowl. Um, after I do that, I sort of like shake the bowl around a little bit to make sure that the dough is evenly coated in the oil. That way we're definitely making sure that none of it sticks. After that, I'm just going to pop the lid uh, on this bowl and I'm going to let it rise overnight in the fridge. Now when I made it the first time, I didn't do an overnight rise. I just put it in the bowl and let it rise for an hour. Either way totally works. If you have less time, you might want to let it rise overnight. That way you can just bake it off real fast the next morning. But if you want to do it all in one shot, then you can do that as well. So into the fridge we go for an overnight rise. So this is late morning the next day when I'm taking the bread out of the fridge. You can see that it has risen quite a bit overnight. And I'm just going to take the dough out of the bowl, punch it down, and then form it into a loaf on this baking sheet that is covered in parchment paper. And that's what it looked like after the dough was formed into its loaf on the baking sheet. 
Now the dough is going to sit like this and it's going to need to rise for an additional hour before it can be baked. So during this hour, depending on how long it takes for your oven to heat, you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees so that it's already preheated for when your bread needs to go into the oven. After the second rise, this is what the dough looks like. You can see it has gotten quite a bit bigger during the last hour. Now you want to make an X on top of the bread, just like so. It's a lot easier if you have a very sharp knife, which I did not, which is why my X kind of looks a little wonky, but that's fine. But now you're gonna pop your bread into the oven for between 25 and 30 minutes. I baked mine for 28 minutes and it came out looking like this. So golden brown and delicious. Now a good way to see if it's done is by hitting it with a knife to see if you hear a hollow sound. As you can hear when I hit it with my knife, it definitely did make a hollow sound. So this loaf of bread is in fact done. So I'm just going to transfer it onto a cooling rack. That way it's not sitting on the hot, hot pan. And your bread is done. Um, I would just let it cool for a little bit before you try to cut into it. That way it'll just make the cutting easier and the bread won't kind of squish together. But yeah, it was so good. And it's just plain crusty white bread, and it's so easy to make. How easy was that? Super easy, right? So, you know, if you're trying to make bread for the first time, this is a super awesome recipe. Um, like I said in the video, I tried it once, um, just letting it rise for an hour, and then putting it on the pan, letting it rise for another hour, and baking it. Yes. And in the clips I was showing in the video, I did an overnight rise in the fridge. Both came out the same so if you're running low on time you could always make it the night before put it in the fridge to rise and then bake it the next day and if you're just feeling like getting it all done in one day it only takes a couple of hours so i hope you liked this video there will definitely be more food videos to come and i will see you all in the next one bye